Hello everyone, this is Steve at HydrogenKO.com We have a new uh, dry cell kit that we want to go over today with you. It'll be available at HydrogenKO.com First of all, we'd like to go over the uh, dry cell itself. This is a 13 plate dry cell. You've got two positives and two negatives. This cell produces 1.5 liters a minute max and is very efficient at a 5.2 mmw rating on that, so very efficient. Also one thing I wanted to point out on this cell is that, uh, that our prototype has been running for over 300 hours and there's absolutely no leaching of the plates into the water. Uh, the water is absolutely crystal clear after 300 hours of use so this unit is very low maintenance it does have a plug at the bottom for changing out the electrolyte once it's installed in your car or truck also this measures five and a quarter inches wide and it's seven and a quarter inches tall two inches thick. The unit is made to be installed between the grill and the radiator uh, in a small area. So most applications um, this will work in. Um, it also can be mounted anywhere in the engine compartment but mounts best in front of the grill or in front of the radiator between the grill um, helps to keep the uh, cell cool. The cell doesn't heat up um, with 30 amps current going into it. The terminals stay cool. Uh, it is made to run around 20 to 25 amps. Really heavy duty cell. Okay, next I want to go over the uh, reservoir. This is a one and a half quart reservoir. Um, it's got easy fill cap here. Uh, measures six by six by four inches thick. So it can be mounted anywhere in the engine compartment. And next I want to go over the uh, map enhancer. This is a dual map enhancer. It does come with the kit. Uh, you got your you got two settings here. Uh, highway, you've got a highway and city setting on it. Um, so on the highway, you can run a little bit leaner than you would in the city. Got your enhanced and normal mode here, so your on-off switch. So you can go back to factory mode if you need to. Uh, the unit does come with eight eight feet of wire, so you don't have to do any splice ends or anything like that. Uh, eight feet of wire should be plenty to run into the uh, passenger area of the car. Um, it is small. It's uh, three inches wide, two inches um, by one inch thick. So it's a small unit. Um, easily be able to uh, conceal it anywhere in the car. We've got the uh, flashback arrester this will prevent a flashback from the backfire of your engine from traveling through the hose and into the reservoir and exploding the reservoir um, great little unit next we've got the we've got a relay this is a 40 amp relay that comes with the kit five prong relay 30 amp circuit breaker so we don't use any fuses in our kit um, this circuit breaker will shut off at 30 amps and as it cools down it will turn back on so you don't have to worry about changing fuses or um, putting too much current through your, through your generator also have 15 feet of hose 3 8 hose 
Got 10 gauge wire here, um, 3 foot of negative wire, and 10 foot of positive wire. We've got our miscellaneous electrical connectors, uh, hose clamps, and a couple brackets for installing the uh, generator. And this kit has a full set of installation and wiring instructions. They will be available on the website and will be updated periodically as things change. Also will be available installation videos and how-to videos on how to tune your tune your map enhancer and how to get the best benefits out of your hydrogen generator. Visit us at hydrogenko.com. This is our dry cell kit. Will be available on hydrogenko.com. Thanks for watching.